right, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Keon and I'm coming through with another video and behind me I have the 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo. This is Porsche's answer to Tesla's Model S. Now with it being a turbo model, it does have 670 horsepower and 600, around 620 pound-feet of torque. But enough said and let's get right to the video. All right, so we're gonna start off with the exterior. We're gonna come to the front where the bumper is and you see it has functional vents. So air is channeled through here, over top of the wheels, and out through here, this vent on the side. You have your uh, LED matrix system lights. So you have one, two, three, four, and the main projector here, and another one here. Have more vents. As you can see, they are active. The radiators keep the motors cool and all the fluids. There's a, um, a camera here for the, um, the driving system, the adaptive cruise control, and you have another camera here for the 360 camera. Another sensor, Porsche emblem. It's nice. By the way, this color is not from factory, it's a wrap. So I don't think that's, you can get that color. This is just a wrap. And you have huge 10 piston braids, one, two, three, four, five. And then another, and then another five on the other side of this. Huge rotors, crazy, almost like the Urus. Then you have 21-inch rims, and they're wrapped around in Continental tires. You have a charging port on this side. All you need to have is the key near you or inside, and then hold your hold your hand under here. If I can get it to work. Oh, there it is. Yep, and then on the other side, there's a supercharging port. So it's just for like your regular house outlets. But on the other side, there's a supercharging port. You can just put your hands on here to close it. All right, you see more cameras on the side here for the 360 camera. And you can see the other vent. All right. Very nice. I like how the, the handles are nicely tucked until you unlock the door. That's when they, they come out. I could demonstrate that now. But here's the key. Normal uh, Porsche key. And you hit unlock. And you see they come out to you. And also the uh, mirrors will come out to you as well. You got the four piston performance brakes on the back. Uh, 305 tires. And then of course you have Porsche for a while have been using this thin LED all the way across, and which makes sense for electric vehicles, but they also be using 911s. The Porsche lettering back here also lights up. Um, then of course the Taycan Turbo. Um, diffuser down here, of course this is an electric vehicle, so no exhaust. And you can just see how wide the tires is from the back. It's nice. And you have a spoiler that pops up. Um, at uh, certain speeds. Yeah, I just like the overall design, and I like this wrap. Yeah, Porsche did a really good job with the design. Um, it looks like a Porsche, <laughs> pretty much. Go for another walk around. Very sleek looking car. And it has the full glass roof, kind of like a Tesla, pretty much. Yeah. All right. Now for the interior. At first glance, we have all black interior here. And this is the actual color. I'll put it somewhere on the screen, the actual uh, name of the color. But yeah, it's like a bluish gray. It has all black, all leather interior. Turbo on the seat, headrest. You have your controls down here for the seat. Uh, just to move it backwards and forward. This is to bring this part out right here. Leg extension. This here is to adjust the, um, this is to adjust the bolstering on the seat. This one in the middle here, and then this one here at the top, just the bolstering on the back. So it hugs you, and then if you know if you were a, a bigger person, it gives you more room. And of course, for the back seat, and then your lumbar support right here with this dial. 
Got a Taycan turbo on the door sill here. Oh man. It's hot. Of course, it has easy entry, so that's why the, the the seat was back and also the steering wheel was up. So when you get in, it brings everything into place. And just like any Porsche, like any Porsche that you buy, the ignition is on the left side, no matter if it's electric or gas. So you just hit here, foot on the brake, and it's on. And it's on, of course, it don't make no noise. Let me turn on the AC because it is hot. It is hot out. I'm gonna start with the steering wheel, which I love this design, it's simple. I like the little cutouts they have on the steering wheel so you can see through it. I like how the screws are exposed and give it a more industrial look. You have your drive mode um, dial here. Control your dial mode, so you have range. So you get, I guess, more, more like eco, then you have normal. And at the same time, it also is just in the height because this car is equipped with, uh, you know, airbags, air ride suspension. So you have sport, sport plus, individual, or you can uh, pretty much customize uh, the suspension, um, the response. I'll go back to normal. Um, and there's different ride heights for each one. Um, and I believe range is going to be the highest. And the Sport Plus, of course, can be the lowest, so it can be slick and more aerodynamic. Your Porsche over in the middle. Um, your horn. Your horn. Uh, you won't notice, but there's a button behind here, and that's for the, the heated steering wheel. You hit that, the steering wheel heating. Turn on, turn off for your winter. Um, on your left side here, the, uh, the steering wheel, you have all your control. You have your voice controls. So you hit this button once over here for a voice command. And then this dial here is for the volume. And this is like a customized button, like a favorite button for you. You can set it to anything to, the, I guess, turn on the radio or you know, wherever you want to set it to. And this button is for recuperation um, when you're driving, when you hit the brakes. It's like, kind of like regenerative. No, not, not, it's not like regenerative. That's different. Um, it's just when, you know, it is regen, regen, uh, regen braking because when you hit the brakes, it, it, um, it puts the energy back into the battery. On your right side, you have your, uh, of course, your phone controls to hang up, your call, your back button. Um, this button here is to could select, you know, uh, which part of the tachometer or the, date, the digital cluster that you want to um, control. And of course, with this scroll, you can scroll through the different options they have, like navigation, trip, um, drive modes, you can see your media, any other information that you want to see here. This button, you can also change the digital cluster uh, layout. So you just go to the middle here and then scroll up and then you can select either the map, extended map, for instance, let's see the extended map. And then the whole screen turns into a map. You still can see your mouse, your speedometer here, the um, current speed limit, all your other important technology, um, and all your other important information. But let's go back. You want reduced, and this makes it simple. You can just see the miles per hour and keep it less uh, cl uh, cluttered. So I'm gonna go back up to power meter. I like that look. It gives it like a, a, a traditional uh, Porsche look where they have the three dials. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have your windshield wiper controls, standard. And then on the left, control your you know, your turn, this is a turn signal, um, your bright your bright lights. Um, down here is how you control your cruise control, adaptive cruise control, you set the speed, the distance, and different modes of the um, cruise control. Either you want a regular cruise control or adaptive cruise control. And adaptive just, you know, it's the car slows down and speeds up itself and keep you also keep you in the lane. So it uses all those cameras on this mounted outside to keep you uh, from crashing. Now on the digital cluster, um, so you don't have like a regular uh, light switch to turn on, on and off the light. So you have these, these are also touch sensitive. So here's for your parking lights. 
that's here for automatic lights and your brights and then your fog lights of course put it back on automatic i'm gonna turn these off put it back on automatic and then over here you can turn off trash control um adjust the ride height see it's going down because it's in sport plus now just switch it to sport plus um this is to lift the front the front end for those uh for those driveways that's uh that sit up high and there's also um that same button that's on the steering wheel here for your, your favorite your favorite um item if you want to hit that button and go straight to that and you have your gear selector here on the right um so you just hit the brake and go all the way down that puts it in d you go in the middle so neutral then r and the reverse see the uh, 360 camera pop up then hit p to put it in park um and also for this you can't just hit the button to turn the car off you have to hold it for about two seconds and then the car will turn off and then just to turn it back on you hit this button once and then you see you have all your uh your warning indicators here instead of on the screen it's here on this little pane so the digital cluster is uh 16.8 inches across and then you have these two screens which is the, you have the center console which is uh 10.9 and then you also have the passenger um um screen which is also 10.9 and the crazy thing about this, it only works when you're driving, it only works if somebody or something is sitting in the passenger seat. So they have sensors in the passenger seat that senses weight and it will turn the screen on. But if not, for safety reasons, it will uh, turn it off. And I'll show you, I'll show you that later um, in the video on the POV drive. I'm going to deactivate for that. So yeah, and this screen is very, oh yeah, and this screen down, sorry, I'm all over the place. This screen down here is specifically to troll your um your uh your your air your uh, AC. So you got all your AC controls, uh, heated and cooled um, seats. Um, you also have your parking sensor. You can turn that on, and with the camera, on um, your volume control, you can turn this off, and also you hit this to um, open the front and the trunk. And to open the two um, charging ports. And here you can check the status of the battery. All right, we're back to, back to the main screen. It has wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Um, it has all your, pretty much all your, your apps that you need, navigation, um, media, Media, your phone settings, vehicle settings. Um, so everything is here, and the screen is pretty, um, pretty responsive. You know, very intuitive, easy to read. All right, so here are your um, your, your drive settings. You can control the mode, the you control the drive mode. You control you know the chassis height, um, the handling the suspension turn on um, recuperation uh, electronic spork sound so this does <laughs> the crazy thing is weird but Porsche incorporated like uh, this manufactured sound so it does when you turn this on it does sound like there's an engine and it's like a it's like a rumble too like it's like a small V like a four a four liter V or something like that and of course, as you uh, get faster, it gets louder and louder and louder. It just sounds more futuristic, really. But at low speeds, or you just sitting there, it just sounds more like a rumble. And this has the um, all the you know, it has the, the safety package. So it comes with the the lane change assist and the lane keep assist, park assist. You know, all your different uh, safety features. And your trip information comfort so you can adjust the seat and you have ambient lighting of course control the different colors and it's all in the footwell all in the door um the roof everywhere and so stay tuned for my night pov drive where i'll show you all um what it looks like at night 
But yeah. So you just hit the vehicle button and that's for all the settings. And over here in the passenger side, the passenger literally can see everything, well, can control everything from their, their screen, just like the uh, driver can. So everything, um, everything the driver can see, they can, I mean, everything the driver control from over here, they can control over here. I think it's pointless, but eh, I, I guess it's cool. You know, if you want to spend extra money on this. And I will put the, um, the cost amount of this option on you know on the screen somewhere so with the ac vents you they, they are stationary so you cannot move them so you ask how would you move them? so you here on the um climate control screen you hit menu then here you can literally control the direction of the wind with this and then there's little motors that you know move the flaps and control and turn the direction of the, the wind pretty cool of course you have your cup holders which are pretty large they're a big couple really big so no matter what size drink you have it will fit this cup holder that's neat and then your storage you have two usb type c charging ports here and then you have a 12 volt um cigarette lighter or charger here and then here in this little pocket right here you can charge a phone and it tells you which side, um, it, give, it gives you instructions um, over here to where to uh, place the screen or how the screen should be facing. Pretty neat, it holds it in place. And then you have your moon roof, your glass roof, goes all the way to the back, which is nice. lights here to control the lights the interior lighting and you have two interior lights on the back here your mirror you have alcantara all on the on the roof all down here on the um a pillar the b pillar and on the c pillar down there i'm gonna see this turbo embroidered on the seats um the headrest does come out you just push this button and oh snap push this button and they'll slide right on out yes yeah, nice seats pretty comfortable um i find them a bit stiff the leather's not as soft but they have some hard plastics here um center the screen here the ac uh, the climate control screen here kind of looks like it's made like it's floating then you also have some more storage down here. And of course, with Porsche fashion, we have your analog clock. Pretty cool, pretty nice little touch. But yeah, everything else is wrapped in leather. Pretty neat, all your ambient lighting here. Also, the sound system is Bose 15, uh, 14 speaker Bose system. You can see the speakers are here in the door and on the door back here. And you have subwoofers back there. But yeah, this is a nice car. And then back here you have two more seats. Bucket seats, of course. This is a sports car. You have two USB Type-C charging ports between the two seats. You have a storage space here and also here. And then you have the back seat have its own screen for the climate control. And I'll get back there later um, and explain that. But yeah, I think I've covered everything from the front seat. All right. Whew, that's nice back here. But like I was saying earlier, yeah, you could control the climate from back here. I'm seeing you can also do the same thing just like in the, on the front seat you control it here by just moving it in the direction you want it to be yeah, it's pretty cool and you have heated seats back here and you have plenty of room back here um i'm 6'2 so 
I did scoot the seat up a little bit, but if I didn't, I believe everything will still be okay. I have enough room. I have enough headroom, as you can see. But yeah. Well, maybe if I lean over here, away from this pillar, but yeah, nice. Nice and room back here. Feels premium. All right, so check the front. It's a little latch, you have to safety latch. And as you can see, it's your coolant. Check the coolant. And the windshield wiper fluid here. Here's the latch I was talking about. But other than that, you really don't get much space back here. Maybe a few groceries. Um, this is the cover that comes with the car. Porsche's gift to you. But that's pretty much it for the front. It looks really, it looks really wide. Then the trunk. Um, not much space back here. It's kind of it's kind of short back here. Um, you have your charging, your at-home charging um, device here. Um, your adapters. I don't think you get a spare because those tires are really wide. But yep, you have a couple storage spaces on the sides. 12 volt back here. Another storage space over here. I don't know what that's for. All right, this is to let down the seat. Well, no, this thing. This is a hook. But yeah. Then you have two buttons up here to close and lock. Close the um, close the trunk and lock the door. And then this is just to close the trunk. Last little walk around. It's a beautiful car. I don't mind a wrap either. I like how it flip flip colors. All right, now we're gonna get to my favorite part, which is the drive. All right, so let's get it. Put it in, you put it in Sports Plus. You hold the brake down. Let's launch out a bit. Feel all your organs just oh my goodness. That is crazy. I'm gonna do one more time. All right, so make sure it's in Sports Plus. Sport Plus. All right, you hold the brake all the way down, and you hold the pedal all the way down to it says launch at control activate, and then you take out. Oh my goodness. So this, vehicle, so this car does have like a, a two-speed transmission, and I, f I think I felt it just change into the second gear. I think it uses, I think the first gear it uses just for the torque, then the second gear, second gear of course it uses it for um, speed. Let's make sure that comes up. The torque here is insane. 
And like I said earlier, this has 670 horsepower and it has 600, around 620 foot pound feet, pound feet of torque. That's crazy. And it handles pretty good for it. And I'll, it handles pretty good because this vehicle weighs over 5,000 pounds. And it does have rear wheel steering, so the rear wheels help, you know, make this car feel more nimble. And it really does make a difference. And so you have no problem. For a, a big car, a big heavy car like this, it feels smaller than it really is. You feel the weight once you come to a complete stop because when you come to a complete stop, it, it keeps rocking back and forth like a boat. But then when you turn, you turn around, it's a, it has a small turning radius. Let's watch. See, I'm gonna show you. I've come to a complete stop. It's still rocking. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if the noise can pick up on it, but it's, it has that um, that fake sound, and it sounds like a an engine rumble, like it's idling. So watch this turn the circle. Virtually small. I didn't mention earlier, but this pad is um, the climate control pad is also you can use as a, a touch pad to control the um, where you want. See how small it is? Real small. Let's watch the turn rate. say about the steering wheel is the um the grips right here is kind of kind of aggressive like you can barely but it's uncomfortable to grab it like this
and put my whole body back in the seat. And this is what I was saying earlier. See how now um, the, the screen is off, but if I press down on the seat, let's see, will it work? Yep, there it is. It popped on. But when I take I take the weight off the seat, it, it'll cut off, and it'll just say type on. Like I said, it's a safety feature with, with Porsche. Oh, that's all this traffic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I went this way. See, there it is. It's off. You just say type on. Type on. He said take on. if you can come through the cameras but watch when I hit, hit the brakes the key it rocks back and forth like like a boat that's the only thing that's that's weird when I, and that, well and that's another way how you that's that's another that's the only way you feel the weight in this car but other than that the brakes feel good the steering is amazing and um and that's to, to Porsche's advantage because they, they have years of chassis tuning and suspension tuning. And these cars are made for the track, so they have that edge up over on um, Tesla in that aspect as far as like EVs. I do like the interior. Uh, only thing is, I would add probably like add like another two tone, like some red. You know, the all back is always going to be clean, but a, a little bit of color would help. Um, this a lot. But other than that, the interior is, is easy to uh, navigate through, in my opinion. Um, it's luxurious, as I expect from Porsche. It's simple. If I was to get an EV, this was something I would, I would enjoy to get. I would, I would, I would do this. Turn traction control off. Well, stability control says stability control limited, so I guess it's gonna let me slide a little bit. Luxury. 
number one, take this on a road trip. I think it only gets like what, 250, um, 250 miles. So I was about to say a tank, but to the full battery. But all right, guys, um, I'm stuck in traffic, so I think I'm going to end the POV here. But here's my final thoughts. Um, if I was to give this this car, the overall experience of this car a rating, I would say I would give it an 8 out of 10. Only because even, even though this car is fast, I'm, I still miss the drama of, you know, shifting through the gears. Um, the pops and burbers of an engine. But other than that, this is a very good car. It handles well, it's comfortable, um, it's luxurious. Um, you get a decent range for what it is. I guess if you keep it on you know, normal or uh, range mode, 
but this is a fun car and if you're looking for an electric vehicle um you want something more fun or um more thrilling i think this is this is perfect um depending on your budget but yeah yeah you know my final thoughts i get it that gives a a, a, a k stamp <laughs> keon stamp of approval so um but yeah so if you're new to the channel and you like the video make sure you make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button notification bell like the video uh, if it's your first time watching or your last time watching uh, i appreciate you anyway thank you um but yeah this has been your boy kian and i'm signing out